So here we are, watching some uh, snooker online and shooters pool. This is a new game that uh, is in testing at the moment, prior to release. We don't know when that's going to be. We've got two pretty good players playing the game, so you might see a decent break. Just let them know that they're online. We've got Albanario from Sweden and Dao Ombre from Germany. And uh, Jorge Sanz is uh, one of the game developers uh, who's waiting in the queue. And we've another spectator who's past queue. I don't know where he's from. Now up in the top left, you'll see the um, the actual frame score. Um, it's uh, thirteen to eleven to Da Ombre. But if you look at the little the little numbers in the, to the right of the the point score in the frame, that's actually the highest break uh, in the frame and also the highest break in the match. Well, in this case, it's only over one frame anyway, so at the moment Da Ombre's on a break of 21 and he's on the black. Now what we can do is, is we can hit the L button and go to the business end of the table came out a bit short in the black but he's got an angle to stun into the reds above the black and hopefully hold for that other red to the left. He might just run through as a matter of fact if the other red below those two, the two reds below the pink, the one to the left might go into the right hand pocket. I don't know whether he still wants to play that, he could play the red into the middle now and drop onto the blue. And the break goes to 36. Well, now, now he can finish on that red to the left of the pink. Because I believe it goes past those two reds. I haven't looked, but I'm assuming it does. Well, he's let that go. He hasn't got a hold of that at all. And he's went in off, so... Not a great shot there by uh, Da Ombre. Break finishes on 37. Albanario on 16. He's got ball in hand in the kitchen or in the D as we say in snooker. Has Albanario got it safe? I think he has. There is a shot to nothing there on the left hand side. That red will cut to the right hand pocket but of course the cue ball should be going back up the table. Well maybe it didn't. And Dow's got into bulk but I think he's left this red on. That one's a bit offline there. The Dal Ombre's got a, a red into this left hand corner. I don't know what I don't think he can make the potting angle on it though, that might be the problem. Well yes he can. And it just creeps in. And I think he might be too straight in the black because the red to the right of the three 
on the right hand side of the pink that definitely goes but he's managed to hold the one in the bottom cushion and it's difficult to see from this angle what what angle he's got so if I hit the L button again um, I can actually then go into sort of manual mode and just set my own camera setting and follow the player around the table so we can see he's on the red so just a roll through and that angle again will bring him up for the the last red below the pink well he's overcut the black so da hombre on 54 Albinario in 16 and these three reds if Albinario is going to stay in this frame he certainly needs to get the three of them Black's hanging over the pocket more or less so he should be okay for the first eight points the problem with those two reds is they're quite close together but the one on the left there is the one that he would hope to play for unless he wants to just drop the black in and play this red into the middle but he could run around with right hand side and come up to this blue pocket where we're looking from well he's in the middle of no man's land here he can either play it long into the bottom pocket or he cuts it into the middle And I think that's reasonably okay in the blue. Now he has to draw back off the blue here if he's going to hold for this red into the far corner pocket as we're looking. Don't know whether he can hold it a lot, an awful lot. He needs to dig into it and he's done it. And don't forget, I never noticed but there's another red there. The last red is on the right hand side down near the bulk end Albinario moves on to 30 he's still 24 behind but the points are there now he needs to guarantee he gets this black he's going to end up playing this red at distance and that's why he's taking the pink instead because he can roll through in the pink and get himself a bit closer well he actually has got the wrong angle on it I think he's a bit straight and it just managed to creep in so this is a tester he can drop this in dead weight but the cue ball is going to be finishing near the cushion That's a good shot. Now his problems not getting from the brown to the yellow, the problem's getting from the yellow to the green. And that green is fairly well as an inch an inch or so off the cushion. And that's no good. Entirely the wrong angle in the yellow, so he can't get on the green unless he plays some elaborate shot all the way around the table. And that's very difficult to do with the tight angle he's got. So he tried to presumably play safe. And that hasn't worked out too well. But then again, Da Ombre can pot the yellow. Which is not going to be much good to him because he can't get on the green. So there's 12 points in it. And that's why he's played the safety. And that looks pretty good. And Albinario's in trouble here. Now, there's a danger of leaving a free ball if he goes with a bit of pace to this. He just wants to try and brush the yellow. Might get lucky if he hits it right. He could uh, snooker his opponent behind a black, but that'd be really lucky. But he certainly doesn't want to run on. And he's caught the edge of it and that's 
an excellent safety. And he's left Da Ombre in trouble. Now he can see part of the yellow, but he's got no real control over where the yellow is going to go. It's certainly the head to the right. But does he play it with enough pace to try and get the cue ball back up the table? If that's the case, the yellow is going to be running. Well, the cue ball runs into the pink, and that's why it's ended up like that. So here's a chance for Albanario, albeit a, a difficult one, because look where the green is, right on the bottom cushion as we look. Again, you would think he'd be just looking to get a decent safety if he pots a yellow. But ideally, he wants to get closer to the green to make playing the safety a, a lot easier. Well, that's a great shot. Lots of draw. Now, well, that's perfect because he's finished on the cushion and there's a slight angle in the green. Now, you don't want to be forced knees in. But... He'll have to if he wants to get that cue ball out. There is a slight angle there, but um, it needs a wee bit of pace. And if you smash these balls at any pace, they're not going to go in. Oh, he's just managed to drop it in. Well, again, not a good angle in the brown. Now he can pot the brown and go right through, bring the cue ball out and play that blue into the, the top uh, right pocket as we look up by the black. Or he could just drop it in and, well I don't think that blue will pass the pink so I think he has to play it into that top pocket. Well it's went round the jaws and come out and it's gone safe. That's what he tried to do and he actually got on the blue pretty well. So now... Da Ombre's got the dilemma here. You could go all out for a cut down the cushion, but that's really asking a lot to get that in. Looking for safety behind the black. It looks good to me. He just left an edge showing. Now, if Albinario can see enough of this uh, brown, he could maybe stun the cue ball in behind the black, send that brown up the table to the middle of the bottom cushion as we're looking. And he's played it well. And the browns come off the cushion into the middle of the D, so there's a lot of room around that brown. And again, the Dow Ombre needs to be careful. He just wants to play this at a weight to hit the brown. But if he does that, there's a chance he might leave it on. So if he hits it too hard and misses it, he'll leave a free ball probably. Oh, he's got away with it. Now, has the game... Well, the game's offered a foul and a miss. Because we're playing to the professional rules. So Albanario has put him back in. And now only trailing by three points. This time Diombre gets the brown. However he's left it on. And this is Albanario's chance to win the frame. And I think he's just gone the wrong side of the blue. But it shouldn't be a problem. He can just roll through it. Try and leave this pink as straight as he can. He's a point in front. So he just needs the blue and pink. He stopped it. Looks to be straight enough. Should be frame over. So Albinario didn't panic. Da Ombre was on a break of 37 and it wasn't enough. Albanario cleans up and wins the frame. 
That is 73 points to 54. So now we're going to see Jorge against Diombre. Now Benario's having to take his leave. And that's a good break. Cue ball tucked mostly in behind the green, but I think Jorge can see this red. He'll just be probably looking to play it off the bottom cushion back up the table and get the cue ball in on the rail behind the black if he can. That looks a bit strong. Yep, cue ball's running. Left a red on here. Bit too much power in that one. I think he's going to have to run through off the rail. Well, he's try again trying to hold it. Difficult to judge when you're looking at the angles from here to see how he can play the shot. He was straight enough just to be able to roll through. And these reds are all fairly tightly bunched. And he's tried to use the pack to hold for that red. I don't know whether he can get the red to the left of the cue ball. Possibly can. And this will open up a few. He's going to have to ride his luck here if he's going to try and hold for the black. Yeah. Maybe the angle wasn't quite there. He's got on the black but missed the red. And I don't think he's left an awful lot on here for Jorge. That, I don't know whether he can get past the pink. Doesn't look like it. He's got one he can tuck into the right middle. Cue ball's going to be running down into bulk. Needs to watch the pace again. But if Porgy makes a mistake here, you would expect uh, you'd expect somebody of the quality of Da Ombre to score a few. But Porgy pots a straight red right into the bulk pocket. Good pot. Needs to follow up though. Cue ball's running away and he's missed the blue. And I think... I think Dow can see that red pass to pink. Maybe not. And we're going to have to go behind him to see these shots. Let's move up the table. See what he's got. No, I don't think he can see enough of that one. He's going to have to take the... The one to the left, that's going to have to go long. Well, now he's got a tough one. And does the pink go past the red? It certainly does, but he's awkward queuing right over that red. That's a good shot. Now anybody that's watching this, um, if you want to take part in the public beta of Shooter's Pool, if you are on Facebook and you type in Shooter's Pool into the search bar in uh, Facebook, that should take you to the Shooter's Pool Facebook page. I think there's actually two, but the, the, the one page you need to look for is the application form that you'll find on there. You can fill in your details, your email, etc. and send that off to the developers and uh, you may well get an invite to join in the, 
the public testing of the game before it gets released. They're still working on it, they're still tweaking a few features in the game. In the meanwhile, we've got Dal Ombre on a break of 16, I think, at the moment. He's going to have to take the red into the middle. That other one's covering the one that he possibly played for. The one at the back of the pink, nearest to black. Now he's got a choice, yellow or green. That'll take him nicely up the table. And he can even play the blue by the look of it. Just bring that cue ball back out. Take the red to the right and it's drop through in the black. And again, you've got to get that angle in the black to get the cue ball back up for these reds. And he's got the angle. Now he's got to decide where he's playing. He could play for the red to the right of the pink or he could play for that red near the left cushion. Well, he's managed to draw it back and he's playing the one at the back of the bunch. And depending whether he's got a straight angle on it, if he's got a slight angle, he can brush off the red and still run through in the black. And that's what he's done. And that's opened up the reds now. And a break. Now goes to 45. Now he's managed to hold it for the pink. I presume he played for the pink. He might have played for the blue there. Now he might want to try and nudge into these again, not being behind the player. Difficult to judge the, the shot that he can play. And I think he's actually managed to draw between them. He's still got the red on. And now he's going square in the black. And he can draw back again. Might be able to play the, the red to the left of the pink into the black pocket if he, if he plays that short or he might try and nudge into them. No, oh, that red must go past the other one. So he's looking good. Get back into this uh, manual camera so we can see the shot better. Oh dear. Well, maybe you should have taken the one nearest him. So the break ends at 60. So there's still 67 in the table, and that's all the reds and all the blacks. Oh, we've zoomed out too far there. And if I was Horgy, I'd be taking the red that's over that uh, corner pocket first and getting the black. Well, that would just manage to drop in. He's actually out of position. That pocket's blocked the path for the pink, so... Gonna have to take the blue. His next red's not a problem, provided he doesn't snooker himself behind something. He just needs to concentrate on the blue. And again, undercut it. And he's left a red on, and this frame's over. Uh, no, uh, it's Shooter's Pool that we're uh, doing a little live stream of at the moment. Just managed to read the chat there on uh, YouTube. Just hang on a wee minute to get rid of this... Uh, 
logo that's on the screen. I never realised that there. Right, we're back in business. So the frame ends. And Jorge has left the room and uh, Da Ombre's left in his own and he'll be going out in a second or two I'd imagine. So with that folks, that was just a quick glimpse of Snooker in Shooter's Pool. Right, so Dal Ombre's left in his own. So, with that, folks, that's your quick glimpse of Shooter's Pool Snooker over, and we will see you again. So